Hi, my name is Ian Hubble. I study with Peter Erskine, and I'm here with my good friend and great organist, Jake Silverman, and we're going to talk about the lockup between organ and drums. The major difference between playing with organ bass versus acoustic bass player is the attack on an acoustic bass is a lot more articulate, and uh, on an organ bass, uh, it's much more legato, there's less attack, so it is uh, up to the drummer to create a very solid, articulate beat to fit within their organ bass playing uh, to create the groove. And so a brief history of organ and jazz uh, sort of started with uh, Fats Waller, who played pipe organ on a number of recordings starting in 1926, went on to inspire players such as Milt Buckner and Wild Bill Davis, who played with uh, the great drummer Joe Jones, and um, eventually paved the way for Jimmy Smith, uh, one of the legends of the Hammond B3, which is the more modern version past the pipe organ. And uh, the great drummer Donald Bailey uh, joined Jimmy Smith's band in 1956, and they created a slew of legendary recordings. And uh, one of the most iconic drum beats from that partnership there was uh, Back at the Chicken Shack, recorded in 1960 uh, at the Van Gelder Studio in Englewood Cliffs. Um, it's a shuffle style groove, and it's uh, played over a blues form. Um, but there's a few tweaks that Donald Bailey makes to make it articulate to match with the organ bass and also just an interesting groove altogether. So the basics of this groove are Donald Bailey plays um, cymbal on quarter notes and he combines the hi-hat on the upbeat um, creating this kind of shuffle that's a little bit lighter and it sounds something like this. That combined with uh, quarter note bass note feathering and a snare drum tom pattern that he plays, which is a little quirky, uh, goes something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So now to bring it all together, we're going to have Jake play. Let's do a little bit of back of the chicken shack. Thank you. 
So the goal in that groove is to uh, create um, kind of like a timepiece, uh, really pay homage to the groove that Donald Bailey played on that record. So I try to keep it as specific as possible, um, not really altering it. And uh, the focus, in my mind at least, when playing with organ, especially at those kind of tempos um, and in those kind of styles, uh, is to focus really on creating a legato but clear quarter note on the ride cymbal. Um, because the clearer that I can make my quarter note um, and the more legato that I can make it uh, will allow Jake or any organist to lock with that quarter note uh, much more solidly. So I'm basically um, usually putting most of my focus on the ride cymbal um, and trying to be as relaxed and articulate as possible uh, with each stroke that I play.